just wanted to give you a tutorial today. I had a question come on in the email. How do you get your videos from the new iPad 2? So um, I have the new iPad 2, and uh, when you connect it, it um, opens iTunes. So a lot of people say, well, it opens iTunes, and that's fine. So you see all the stuff that you have on your iPad 2. You have your music, your movies, the other stuff like that, and uh, your apps. So it automatically opens iTunes. So that's what it does. that's what it does right now. And that's fine. Manly merge music, music and videos. You know, I can configure all the other stuff I want. But I'm going to close iTunes. Right now it opens, for my preferences, it opens Aperture. Some of you may have iPhoto installed. So I want this video right here. It's a video of me that I shot when I was in Atlanta recently on the iPad as a test. And um, um, I want that. But um, one way to do it is you can uncheck everything in Aperture and just click on this and then just hit Import Check. But I don't really want that because it stores files in the Aperture library, or I could choose it to go to the desktop, but that just seems like, uh, it's just too much work. I don't want my videos in Aperture. Just more of a personal preference. What I like, instead, I like a software, and I want this video, 130. I like a software called Image Capture. So I'm just going to open Image Capture, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down, and I'm going to look for video 130. So you can sort them by date, file size, your color space, all that good stuff. Image capture is with every Mac um, shipped out. And of course, it's a Mac tutorial. And I'm going to look for image 130. There it is. So I'm just going to hit import that one image. And here's another thing that you can do. After connecting the iPad, you can go into preferences. And this is just image capture. This is a global setting. And you can have it open no application, have, have it open image capture. So I wanted to open image capture every time I open the iPad. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click on that video right there. Um, 130, it's 41 megabytes, 1280 by 720. And it should be importing right to my desktop. And there it is on the desktop. So let's go here. Let's minimize this. Yep, this is iPad 2, and we are shooting live video right here. So okay, so that is iPad 2, and that's live video from my iPad 2. Next tutorial coming up, I'll show you how to get the video from iPad 2, put it in the iMovie, Final Cut Pro, or Adobe Premiere, and get it out to the masses. So that is how I import video straight from my iPad 2. Hope that helps. Take care.